to another one. The next party just went up back there.
the waters. Picture, people, picture. Mang. For you and me, so there's a great day, beautiful tomorrow. And I even hear tell about two brothers from North Carolina who are working on some kind of flying. Phew, boy, hottest 4th of July we've had in years. Father. Calm down. You and me, so there's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end.
great big beautiful tomorrow just a dream away Another Christmas turkey. through the future, right by two of my favorite spots. Yeah. Yeah. Community of Tomorrow. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny mover. On your right is Star Traders, home to the greatest goods in the galaxy. Except the actual stars. Those are no longer sold. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit. And these are two of the best tracks in the cosmos for a bit of light speedy competition. This is Starboard 75, or as we always call it, Space Map. Our high speed rocket for distant deep space destination. Thank you. Attention all visitors from Galaxy M31. Please keep forward-facing tentacles clear. Good. Presidency. Seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field, but in a larger sense. We cannot dedicate. We cannot consecrate. We cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here, have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here.
to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. The blood of over the presidents of the United States of America. Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe, John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson, Martin Van Buren, William Henry Harrison, John Tyler, James K. Polk, Zachary Taylor, Millard Fillmore, Franklin Pierce, James Buchanan, Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Johnson, Ulysses S. Grant, Rutherford B. Hayes, James A. Garfield, Chester A. Arthur, Grover Cleveland, Benjamin Harrison, William McKinley, Theodore Roosevelt, William Howard Taft, Woodrow Wilson, Warren G. Harding, Calvin Coolidge, Herbert Hoover, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Harry S. Truman, Dwight D. Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, Lyndon B. Johnson, Richard M. Nixon, Gerald R. Ford, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, George Bush, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, Barack Obama, Donald Trump. And now we come to the present. Once again, we place our trust in the idea of a president, as we have from the beginning. My fellow citizens, no event could have filled me with greater anxieties than that notification on the 14th day of April, 1789, that you had selected me to lead our nation. But it was with the confidence of my fellow citizens that I took an oath. 35 simple words that have been repeated by every American president throughout history. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States, and I will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God.
state is a role unique in the world, an office entrusted to each president by us, we the people. Therein lies the genius of that new idea, now over 200 years old. A new idea our presidents have turned into a great American idea again and again. Mama, look.